talk about Chipotle this morning, Keith. I failed to mention last week they raised prices, uh, an undisclosed amount. Usually on Reddit, you can figure it out, but we always factored in 2 to 3% for the fourth quarter because they didn't want to post low single digit same store sales. So the estimate there is for the fourth quarter is 5 to 6%. That's going to make it very doable. Um, but menu pricing only goes higher in the restaurant industry uh, to ensure everyone gets paid from restaurant managers to the CEO, because that's just how incentive comp is structured. Um, but I brought a chart for you today. CMG has better four wall margins than nearly everyone in the industry. Um, but I, this 20, they, so they've taken pricing up about 20% over the last two years. And it's really taken their margins 300 basis points above other comparable concepts with other, with, with, sorry, with other comparable average unit volumes. Notably, I would just point out in this, I'm going to get back to CMG, but look how bad sweet greens is, right? And why is it short? But that's a separate subject we can talk about. But with pricing up so much with uh, on, for CMG, what you're starting to see on social media is what behavioral economists call the impact of anchor pricing. So customers have a reference point or anchor, as they call it, that they're accustomed to. And if they remember paying X, right, and then in the past, and it goes up by 20, 25%, it triggers basically a reevaluation. So we've been talking about the aggressive pricing that Chipotle's uh, taken and the potential long-term impacts from that. Um, and I just think it's really starting to evolved into a problem for the company, but they've been pushing this envelope for the years, for years, and well, for two years, frankly. Um, and I just think it's becoming more noticeable. Uh, and just to add to that, they've been even more aggressive on the pricing for their delivery menu, which is up even more than the pricing on the regular menu. And you're seeing in, you know, low, high single digit, low double digit decline in uh, delivery volume. So uh, I just think the, they're pushing the envelope on pricing, and this is going to be a long-term problem for them. That's, that, they, that's been a great short. I mean, um, I highlighted this weekend the investing ideas. This, that's obviously on investing ideas on the short side. We have we had one yo-yo say, why don't you show the losers? Well, currently, yo-yo, there are no losers in the investing <laughs> ideas product. Those are all of our current positions. And again, if you want me to live in my past, that, that's up to you. But obviously, the guy doesn't subscribe. He's just a loather. Um, but Chipotle has been fantastic. Um, nice call on that one. Okay. Uh, investing ideas, of course, is longer term longs and shorts. Uh, we get uh, MPW downgrade by the old wall today. That's on there on the short side. Has been for a while, as you might suspect, if you don't get that product. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.